Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Like my videos? Please consider buying me a coffee. Thank you so much for the support. It helps me continue making content that you enjoy. You're f Oh, hey, look, it's Teen Wolf. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're gonna take a look at a new Masters of the Universe figure from the CGI Netflix series, and it's the Deluxe Power Attack Beast Man. Now, I got this from Amazon.com, and as you can see, the box is a little tore up, but yeah, it is what it is. All the accessories are there, and I'm going to take it out of the box anyway to review. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's a new style of figure. I guess this is more like Ram Man or uh, the Battle Armor, He-Man and Skeletor uh, Deluxe. Just a little bit bigger, I suppose, in this line. Uh, but uh, other than that, they're really pretty much the power attack figures we have been getting. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. At least, what's left of it. So here we have Beastman in the packaging. And again, it's missing part of it that kind of comes over there. Uh, but that's okay. There he is. He's got his accessories in there. And then uh, it's an open box where you can feel the figures, um, which is kind of popular nowadays. we got the weapons over here uh, looking all kinds of cool. we got some artwork. He-Man. This is Beastman down there. All that kind of good stuff. So just kind of a close-up of him. There he is. There are the weapons stored in. Power Attack and He-Man, nothing really on the side of the package. And, of course, you can kind of get that, uh, you know, Power Attack demo in the package is what this open box is for, I suppose. Back of the package shows off the Power Attack, and then the other figure is He-Man. And, again, it would have more package on the back up there. But, uh, yep, there's the Power Attack gimmicks, and then the He-Man that is in the wave. Actually looks cool, reminds me of Thunder Punch He-Man. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. Let's go ahead and get him out of package and see what we think. So here we have Beastman out of the packaging, and he looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks like the powered-up Beastman in the show, which I do dig. He's very bulky. He's got a really wide shoulder uh, width. It's nice and heavy, very thick, rubbery type of plastic, which is cool. And he comes with some weapon accessories, uh, which I definitely dig. So he's got the whip, he's got the shield... Um, which is neat, this kind of neon claw shield looking thing. And uh, what this thing does is just kind of clips onto the wrist. So it's got a little clip right there. And it kind of looks, I guess, I don't know if it's like attack claws like this or if it's a shield. Uh, it's, it's, it's just kind of there. Now, he's got this whip, which is, you know, notorious for Beastman. But this thing is super cool and kind of creepy if I can get it out of his hand here. So we'll go ahead and take it out of the hand real quick and uh, take a look. And it's basically bones, and it's very cool. Um, we got bones on the handle, bones up here. Now we got a plate there on the other side. It's a different set of bones, so very asymmetrical, which I do dig that. Um, very cool. And then uh, the whip itself is a spinal cord of some animal that comes up to the cattails, which again have bones at the end of it. So, yeah, this is pretty darn dark and awesome. I love this. So let's take a look at the articulation on the figure. So um, first off, we got the power attack punch, uh, which is pretty standard. It can go side to side and then up and down, just like all the other power attack figures. Arm, of course, moves up and down. Um, wrists do move um, on both of the arms, which is nice. And then nothing at the elbow. His head moves back and forth like this. Nothing really up and down. And then his legs at the hip move around. And then his feet also move at the ankle. So pretty standard articulation for these figure types. Taking a closer look at the figure itself, I think the sculpt is really well done. It looks like the animated series. I love the big shoulder um, blocks there with the spikes coming out. The red mane going down his Hunchback. He's got a very wolf-like looking face, orange, uh, with the kind of yellow stripes on there, almost kind of giving a claw kind of look. 
Uh, the muscles are sculpted well. It's got a very kind of Scooby-Doo cartoon-esque look about it. And that's, you know, kind of the way he's got in the show. Of course, he's got the black kind of chest armor as well. Just an all-around really good-looking figure. Now, taking a look at the midsection of the figure. Again, sculpted really well. He's got these kind of uh, furry slash sculpted uh, wristbands. Uh, that there's kind of looks like weapon or bone detail in it's hard to see because it's brown he's got these really cool three skulls on his chest there's a cat a spider and i don't know if that's a bull or a hog or something um, now we see in the show that those will give off an energy version of that animal which is kind of interesting and then he's got kind of his blue little skirt uh, with the red uh, as well in there and it's kind of got a metal Looks like a metal mesh on the front of it, which is kind of interesting. His claws are sculpted very, very well. We could have used a little bit more paint detail, especially around the skirt and the arms. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, sculpted well. They're kind of small and uh, blocky, which, you know, a lot of these figures aren't in this wave and line are. It's just kind of that style we get. Again, kind of these blue armor plates on his shins. He's got some nice uh, claw design going on to his feet. Uh, again, we probably could have used a little bit more paint apps on the claws, maybe paint uh, the claws on his hands and his feet white. Uh, but other than that, I mean, that's kind of a minor gripe overall on the figure. For comparison, here we have the Power Attack Deluxe Beast Man with the Power Attack Skeletor and Trap Jaw. And as you can see, he is just a little bit bigger than the other two standard figures. And I mean, just barely. He's a little bit taller than both of them. His arms and shoulders are definitely bigger than the other two, whereas the legs uh, about the same size. Uh, the feet might be a little bit bigger to hold up the kind of big bulky body but it does show you the difference between the deluxe figure and the standard figures and you know i think there's only like a five dollar difference between the two and yeah it, it works and beast man i think should be a little bit bigger than the other figures because well he's beast man so is the cgi netflix he-man and the masters of the universe deluxe power attack Beast Man, something that you want in your Motu collection. You know, if you like this new CGI Netflix series, this is a must-have figure. If you are a general Motu fan that likes all the lines and wants to collect all the characters, you're going to want to pick this guy up. If you're a Beast Man fan, I think you're going to like it whether you really dig this new series or not because it's very fun, it's big, it's got a very bulky kind of uh, doinky doink play to it, and there's some kind of dark bits to it uh, with the skulls and the spinal whip and all that kind of fun stuff. I, I think it's a figure kids are going to like, so it's going to be very, very popular, and it rounds out the classic uh, villain set uh, for Skeletor's minions in this new series, and it's definitely fun. So there he is! The Power Attack Deluxe Beast Man from the CGI Netflix Motu series. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.